how to upload fonts to Canva. To do this, the first thing you'll need to do is log into your Canva account and navigate to your desired template graphic that you are currently working on. As you can see here, I'm working on a little Among Us graphic. I have an Among Us background here and two words, Among Us, which is the name of the game. If I simply left click on the text here, you can see on the top left hand corner here that the font is aileron heavy. Now I want to change this font to a similar font or the exact font that is used on the Among Us promotional poster. So I'm just going to navigate to the next tab here, which is the main website for Inner Sloth, who are the game developers that created Among Us. As you can see here, this is an Among Us banner and I would like to use the font contained within this banner here. So after doing some research, I worked out that the font used in the Among Us promotional poster is actually called In Your Face Jeffrey. So if I navigate to the next tab here, you can see that I navigate to dafont.com, which is a font repository area where you can download any font that your heart desires. There's quite an extensive font database here. Now, all I did was navigate to the search box on the right hand side here, and I simply typed in in your face Joffrey. And then I simply hit on the search button right next to it. And as you can see, I have already done that. And this is the font that looks quite familiar and is most likely the exact same font used in the Among Us game poster. So to download this font, all I need to do is navigate to the right hand side here and left click on the download button to download the font. Once the font has been downloaded, navigate to the bottom left hand side of your browser here and left click on this arrow and then left click on show in folder to be taken to your downloads folder. As you can see, the font is in our downloads here and it's currently a zip file. So what we'll need to do is extract the font out of this zip file. To do this, you'll need to use a program to extract the contents of this zip file. The program that I will be using today is called WinRAR. I'll put a link in the description of a video that I created of how to download, install, and use WinRAR. Once you're in your downloads folder and you have your extraction tool, all you need to do is simply right click on the font that you've just downloaded and then navigate to where it says extract here. Just left click on extract here and the tool will work its magic and extract the font. As you can see, from this zip file, I got three files. One is a text file, the next one is an image file, and the one after that is our font. So this is our font here. So we don't actually need the text file or the image file, and actually we don't even need the zip file anymore, so I'm going to delete that too. Great, so the next thing we need to do is upload this font onto Canva. To do this, go back to your browser and then navigate back to the Canva dashboard. So it's the tab furthest to the left for me. So to upload a font onto Canva, all you need to do is left click on the text box. I have already left clicked on it from earlier in the video, and then you should see the font name. So all you need to do is navigate to the top left hand side here and left click on the arrow to display the font selection. Once you've done that, if you look carefully, you should see at the very bottom here of the font selection an option to upload a font. Now to upload a font on Canva, you will need to have Canva Pro. You cannot upload fonts on the free version. You can only use the free fonts available on Canva. So to upload a font, all you need to do is left click on upload a font here. A new tab will then open and you'll be taken to the brand kit section. I'm just going to close out of this notification here. And if we just scroll down a bit here, you should see brand fonts and underneath it, you should see uploaded fonts. In the uploaded fonts section, you'll be able to see all the fonts you've actually uploaded onto Canva. Most likely you won't have any fonts uploaded because you're watching this video as you can see, I have one font uploaded onto Canva and it's the VCR OSD mono regular font. Underneath it here, you'll be able to see a button to upload a font. You're going to left click on this. Once you've done that, you'll need to navigate to your downloads folder and find the font you just downloaded. So as you can see, in your face, Jeffrey is right here. So all I'm going to do is left click on it and then left click on open to start the importing process onto Canva. As you can see, you'll be greeted with this notification here that says, please confirm the following by uploading my own custom font. I acknowledge that I own in your face, Jeffrey .ttf or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. All you need to do is hit yes, upload away to confirm. So I'm just going to left click on this purple button here and the font will begin to upload onto Canva. You'll know when your font has been uploaded when you see it in the uploaded font section. As you can see, in your face, Jeffrey is right above the VCR OSD mono regular font, which confirms that it's been uploaded onto Canva. Now, if I navigate to the top here and left click on the tab, which contains the graphic that I'm working on, you will now be able to change the font of the text that you're working on. So all I'm going to do is just simply refresh this page. Once it has been refreshed, left click 
on the text box here and actually highlight all the text that you want to edit. So I'm just going to highlight the word Among Us here and I'm going to left click back on this arrow here to select my font. And then if you navigate down to where it says uploaded fonts, you can see in your face Jeffrey is here and it should be the same for the font that you uploaded. Just left click on it and the font will change. And there we go, guys. I'm very happy with how that looks. If I just left click on this tab here and compare it to the font that we used in this graphic, you can see it's almost, if not, a perfect match. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.